Hey everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby. In this video, I'll discuss some essential headwear in Ragnarok Mobile to make you stronger, from new players to end game. I personally use many of these on my free to play and pay to win accounts. The focus is on PvE in Ragnarok Mobile, although some of these are suitable for PvP as well. I'll cover headwear in the current Time Wish machine, as many of these are meta headwear that have stood the test of time. One great way to get stronger is to invest in the Time Wish machine, since you can get reunion proof so you can purchase exactly what you want. But it is important for you to choose the right headwear and be aware of what free to play alternatives exist. I would highly recommend free to play players to save their assistance Medal of Honor to claim stuff from the Time Wish machine. And this is also a great option if you plan to spend some BCC since there are some guaranteed values. Again, Reunion Proof does guarantee that you're eventually able to get the headwear that you actually want. Also, fantastic news, I have codes to give away. I have 10C, 5 Global, and 5 EU codes. In the comment section, say which headwear do you use most frequently. Please include your Discord ID and which server you play on, such as C, Global, or EU. And winners will get codes starting August 10, 2024. First, let's begin with the head. For free-to-play DPS players, I'd highly recommend using White Knight Helm. Some weeks you can get this from doing Battle of Cake, so definitely claim this if you see it. Refine it to 4 and you have 12% damage to MVP and mini monsters, and that can be used for both physical and magic classes. Next, Golden Dragon Crown gives 4% penetration and 4% magic penetration. You can get this from doing Wasteland, and it is quite cheap. Next, Saint Tokens gives skill damage per refine level. This is really expensive, but can become the highest skill damage headwear in the game. Next for Time Wish Machine options, there are two headwear I most use. These are Homestead of Snowy Owl and Duchess of Bat. Both do extra damage to inferior elements, for example if you use water against fire monsters. This is the best in slot headwear against inferior elements, and Duchess of Bat is very popular these days due to the Dark Convert meta, which is very popular in White Star Airship, and in that case you're converting to Holy Element. Next, if you don't have Elemental Advantage, then Tela, Baby, and Music of Soul are amazing, due to the 25% damage to large monsters, which most bosses are. Music of Soul is often used by magic users, and has replaced the magic crit Koi head as the best in slot. Next for support, a nice free-to-play option is Foxier Bell Ribbon for the 5% HP. Next for Time Wish Machine options, I think Skyfall Pouring is the best for PvE. It has max HP plus 8%, and you get max HP 10% shield every 10 seconds. Keep in mind this is for PvE and not for PvP, as there are other great PvP headwares with certain effects. Next for face, two free-to-play items I'd recommend for new players is Nut on Head for Ignore Defense and Evil Eye for Ignore Magic Defense. Both are cheap, and you'll be lacking Ignore Defense and Magic or Ignore Defense early on. Next, Angel Spirit gives a nice 4% attack and magic attack. Dragon Skill Stripe is great for ranged physical damage classes that boost damage based on decks. And also for skill users, Summon Sinking is great for skill damage. When refined to 10, this is also really nice. Next, for the Time Wish Machine options, you have two popular ones, and those are Winter Crown and a Refined 6 Cube Blower. Cube Blower is the most popular option, but unfortunately it needs to be Refined 6. For those who are afraid to refine, Winter Crown is the better option, as 9% skill damage is amazing. I think both these face items are flexible and can be used for many different types of builds in PvE. Personally, I do use a plus 6 cube blower. Next for support, a great free to play option is the Royal Prestige for the max HP percentage and reductions against wind, earth, water, fire, and neutral based on refine level. For Time Wish Machine, a high refined Eastern Dragon Visage is great for the skill damage reduction. Next for Melt, two great free to play options for DPS are Abyss Whisper and Butterfly Breath. Abyss Whisper is cheap, but gives 3% attack and magic attack. Butterfly Breath gives 5% damage to MVP and mini monsters and can be obtained by doing the Eclage story mode. Next for Time Wish Machine options, Honey Bunny for 5% skill damage is amazing. It goes to 8% if your HP is at 100%. If you're feeling lucky to refine, then a plus 6 Oceans attachment is the best in slot. I personally use a plus 6 Oceans attachment, but I broke it many times when trying to refine it, so be warned. Next for support, two free to play options is Iron Cane for 4% HP and also Refine 10 Pipe for 10% HP. For Time Wish Machine, the Kraken Treasure Key is great since it gives max HP plus 8% and 
and when we refine plus 6, we get plus 5% damage reduction to all races as well. This is a very popular option for support classes. Next we're back, Siren Touch is great for free to play DPS since it gives damaged MVP and mini monsters plus 5% and each refined level gives it 0.5% more damage. It is also fairly inexpensive so it's great for early game too. Next for Time Wish Machine options, Love Goddess gives 10% final damage but you also take 20% more damage. This is great if you have support from a saint via Faith Prey or healing. Anti-Death Food also helps as well. This back is also fantastic if you hate refining. Next good will give box at refine 6 is very strong and it is beaten by only Chicken Axe which isn't available in the Time Wish Machine yet. Unfortunately you do need to refine this to 6. Next is Encomius Movement which is great for the Magic Crit build. Unfortunately you also need to refine this to 6 to fully take advantage of this. If you play the Magic Crit build this is definitely a must have. Next for support, free to play options include Fawn Back for the 4% damage reduction and magic reduction. If you do Echo Corridor, you will also be rewarded the Stellar Wings for damage reduction and magic reduction plus 5% and bonus healing received plus 15%. Next, Midnight Stars is good for skill damage reduction, although it is quite pricey to refine. Next for Time Wish Machine, I see many supports using Fate Wheel for the skill cooldown minus 10%. That is incredibly important for casting your skills more frequently. If you want survivability, the free to play options are pretty good, but if you want a very unique effect, then Fate Wheel is one of those to choose. Next for Tail, two great free to play options is Sea Soul's Tail and Summer Banana Split. Sea Soul's Tail is a super cheap option if you do Wind, Earth, Water, or Fire Elemental damage. Next, a high refined Summer Banana Split is great too, since you gain 0.5% damage to MVP and mini monsters per each refined level and you also start with 3% damage to MVP and mini monsters. Next for Tail, if you're doing Time Wish Machine options, It's Too Late is the best in slot that many people use for skill damage. If you don't use skill damage, I'd highly recommend Rock Bunny which does 10% damage to monsters, including MVP and mini monsters. This is one of the most flexible tails for doing damage in the game. Next for free to play support, Amethyst Creature for skill damage reduction per refined level is nice. And also the M Death Fairy is also great for the magic damage reductions per refine level and the stun resist. You can get this from the guild vending machine. Next for time wish machine options, Emotional Cleaner is very popular for the skill damage reduction. This is one where I use my refined 15 voucher on since it's incredibly good. Next, Panel Guardian is also great if you want skill delay minus 10% to cast things faster. Again, support really benefits from casting things faster. Well that's all, I hope this guide helped you choose a headwear that will make your character stronger in Ragnarok Mobile. If you enjoyed this video please like, comment, and subscribe. Here's a video that I would recommend. And if you want to learn how to get stronger, check out this playlist over here.